guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is symphony i film beauty fashion and lifestyle content and if you guys enjoy those types of videos please make sure to like this video and of course subscribe to my channel to join the harmony in today's video i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and this is the makeup look that i've worn in the halo glow review for this product right here so if you guys want to see that then just keep on watching so lately i've been using the cerave daily moisturizing lotion for my face and you can also use it for your body and i noticed that it's been giving me like more of a smooth finish before i apply my makeup so i had already went in with this and of course i already did my eyebrows that's another routine itself right now my lips are terribly dry like they're so dry right now so i'm just gonna go in with my laneige leap I said leap it's going to be going in with my laneige lip sleeping mask and i'll be forgetting how good this stuff is like it works so good and this is just gonna last me until i get to my lips because i really want to have them moisturized before i apply any lip product and sometimes I like this better than Vaseline and it just has like a deeper moisturization. Next, I'm going to be going in with priming and I'm going to be using the Poreless Putty Primer. This is just the luminous kind. I'm gonna try not to take so much this time because I know that last time I used this, I used like so much and a little bit goes a long way with this, I noticed. So I'm just going to apply this much and i'm gonna make sure to apply it in these little areas that i have where it gets really oily because this is just going to help fill in the large pores i just love how it makes my skin like a little bit extra glowy next i have to color correct because my dark circles are tripping right now my sleep pattern has been a little bit off and i'm just going to be color correcting right here too because of like my little acne scars and redness and i'm just going to be using my handy dandy la pro conceal in the shade peach this is literally my favorite color corrector ever it color corrects so good and it's so affordable this time i'm just gonna take a lot because i really need some more full coverage i'm in the mood for that and i just have to do other content too after this i've been breaking out right here lately and it's really odd to me because that never happened before but it just shows that my body's changing and i'm gonna just have to get used to that things are going to pop up my acne is going to start tripping sometimes i'm just coming to the conclusion i'm really turning into a grown grown woman not like a little woman a grown woman life is funny I'm gonna just blend this out because if i use a sponge i feel like it takes a little bit of the product and i don't want that i'm trying to like use this to help me get more of a full coverage you know some people can use green color corrector orange but peach works best for me and i believe it's because of my undertone that i have and actually i am going to be going in with the sponge and i'm just taking my paw paw wonder beauty sponge that i got from amazon it came with a six pack for under ten dollars and this works so good but i'm taking this because i may add it a little bit too much sometimes i get excited with my makeup and i just want to do the most but let me just tone this down a little bit and just make it more not so harsh looking like i actually put too much this time next i'm taking my elf halo glow liquid filter i did do a full dedicated video review on this i'll leave that video down below for you guys i go more in depth with how to use it and how it works on my skin i am in the shade medium so shade four mm -hmm. just going to blend it out with my sponge to get more of a seamless type of look I really love using this as a foundation I love the glow that it gives me bring it down to my neck so it doesn't look like we have a mask on because that's the worst so i'm done blending that out and as you can see 
it's the glow like i truly love the glow on this now i'm taking my 16 hour camo concealer from elf and i'm in the shade light beige in this mm, maybe this much yeah i'm gonna add this much and if i need more layers i'll just add more layers add some on my nose to make it a little bit more slimmer and this you know just to highlight the area is going to be using the same sponge but flipping it over and just do that It may seem like I added a lot, but I swear, do not worry. This is going to come together very well. Just trust the process. Then I like taking the back of my sponge and just using it on my forehead. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this brush that I got from my SB bag a really long time ago. And this is the Luxie 140 Detailed Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm gonna just use this brush to blend out the concealer that I cannot literally reach with my sponge. For cream contouring, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Suede. And I noticed that this concealer is like a really nice concealer for contouring as well instead of just like only... Um, color correcting and with this shade too i really like how it gives me a natural tan or a natural contour without having it be too much Ooh, oh no oh my gosh okay i'm gonna just take that much i probably messed up on the nose area but it's fine i'll fix that and i'm just taking my elf complexion duo blending brush and i'm just going to be using this side first just to blend out the cream contour and look at that oh my gosh it looks so natural on me that's nice my elf putty blush and this is in the shade turks and caicos and i'm taking my elf makeup mist setting spray and i'm just going to be spraying that in there one time and i'm taking my cream blush brush mix in there put it on the back of my hand and just warm it up just like that and this blush really gives me like a natural look put some on my forehead i love putting blush on my forehead chin is it raining i think it's raining okay now i'm ready to set everything like i'm tired of all this cream on my face with no powder especially with me having oily like, skin or oily combination it can be a little bit too much so now we're just gonna set everything first we're just gonna set the under eyes and i'm just taking my elf halo glow setting powder in the shade light yeah this is in the shade light and this is what i used for my um makeup look that i did in the halo glow review when i tried this for the first time i was amazed but let me not tilt it too much because i did pour a little bit too much out i am going to be taking this little sponge that i got from shein but you can get off of amazon and if you don't use these already you need to asap be taking this much and i am going to bake with this i have to bake like one of my favorite things to do is baking maybe not all the time but most of the time put it here and especially on the sides of my nose, really want to slim it down. I'm not 
not only just putting it underneath my under eyes, but the highlight areas just like that and I like using this much powder because I noticed for me at least it helps with like the full coverage and for my makeup to last all day for the sides right here I really love using a powder that matches the foundation or like my skin tone and I'm just going to be taking the Maybelline loose powder in the shade light medium I do the exact same thing and just add the powder right here using the same sponge and just do that almost forgot to add some on my lids because they can get so oily i'm gonna just let that bake for about five minutes or so for bronzing the base i am going to be taking my jcats symphony base obsession palette and i've been literally obsessed with this lately um it works so good like it took me by surprise when i first tried this i was shook i tried this in my chit chat get ready with me that i recently did like two videos ago it works really good so i'm going to be using it in this video and it's only like under 15 dollars and it'd be going on sale so i'm just going to be taking this color right here this is the number two bronzing palette because they do have a number one for more lighter skin tones and I'm just going to be taking this much and put it right here. Like, you see that? This definitely could be a makeup dupe for something high-end, but I'm not really 100% sure for what, though. But this works too good. while i'm bronzing on my face i'm also like kind of swiping this off at the same time i'm just taking this brush that i got from amazon as well and it's the pro setting brush and i'm just going to be doing this it's like a little line right here which i'm trying to blend out while i'm at it let me just blend this out too I'm going to be tap wiping it off I just love how this gives me like kind of a glow underneath my under eye but it's like still a matte finish then I'm going back in with the duo brush and just make my nose contour a little bit more sharp there's like a lot of going back and forth every time I do my makeup but that's how you get this look honestly so now we're on to blush and look how the face looks it's glowy it's looking kind of matte but it's still glowy essence mosaic is it mosaic 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 blush in the shade the berry connection this is definitely a dupe of the dior blush um i forgot the actual name but it was like the really popular one that got popular off of tiktok and i'm just going to be using my luxie brush that i had for many years that I got from Epsi. Just take this much. I remember not using a glowy type of blush. And I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because I love blush. It really complements my face shape. And I have like really appley cheeks. So adding blush on them really makes me look like a little doll. I think I want to add highlight in this video even though I didn't add any highlight in that video but I love using highlights so I'm just gonna add like a little subtle touch of it I'm just using the Catrice more than glow highlighter in the shade beyond golden glow I'm just gonna add a little bit nothing like you know just just a little glow you know just something like that And I also did a review on this too, on like how it looks when it's wet versus when it's dry and the pigmentation, swatches, everything like that. So now we're onto the eyes and I did zoom you guys in for this portion of the video so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and everything. But I am going to be using my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this palette and first of all, 
it still smells like sweet peaches like after having it for like how many years 17 18 19 20 21 like four years almost five years it still works really good peaches and cream and maybe a little bit of nectar peaches and cream is right here and maybe a little bit of nectar it's so pigmented oh my gosh i love this stuff oh my gosh look how pigmented that is imagine if i had like concealer on my eyelid I'm going to be taking a tapered blending brush and I'm going to be taking puree and I think I might take a little bit of summer yum take a dash of that it's really pigmented and just do that I just love how this looks oh my gosh and I'm just blending it up top right here a little bit. I'm so obsessed with this palette. Oh my gosh, I gotta use it more often. The only reason why I grabbed it is because I looked in the drawer where I put my palettes at. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot I have this palette. Then I smelt it and I was like, mm, this smells too good. Let me use it. Then boom, I used it and that's how I came up with the makeup look. <laughs> I honestly feel like I did my eye makeup a little bit different, but it looks better. So I'm not having an issue with that, honestly. But this is how the eye makeup looks right now. I think I want to add some highlight in the inner corner area. So I am taking the Catrice highlighter and just add it in the inner corner. I need to add some highlight on my brow bone area. Then I almost forgot to do this step. I can't believe this. Like, this is like one of my main things that I have to do. I have to add a highlight on the tip of my nose. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. So now I'm just gonna set my face with the e.l.f. setting spray. And just shake it up a bit. And this keeps showing. And it's actually getting quite annoying. Y'all know I always add way more than this, but I just want to make sure everything is melted together and it's going to look so good at the end once I apply my lashes and my lip combination. I'm going to be taking my next brow glue just to set my brows. I like setting my brows after I'm done doing everything like this. So I'm going to just let that dry and now I zoomed you guys back in. Now we need to do some lashes and before I go in with lashes of course, I need to curl my lashes. I need to use this up. I have not touched this in a really long time and it's the Moret Mascara. I did work with them in the past and I forgot this mascara wand is so good so i'm just gonna go in with this and then i'm going to apply my lashes the lashes i'm going to be using in this video are these lashes they look kind of messy right now i have some leftover glue and i have like one that i cut off the ends these are the ones i'm going to be using and i'll just link these down below for you guys these are my absolute favorite my go-to's and i believe i use them in my elf halo glow review video so i'm just going to be using these again like these are so freaking pretty These are how the eyelashes look this one looks a little bit wonky but we're just gonna make it work anyway i'm gonna go in with my brown lip liner i'm not sure if i used a lighter lip liner than this but it makes sense just to use the darker one because of the lip combinations i'm going to be using some Vaseline and just 
kind of mix that together before I apply my other lip products. Kind of want to give it that ombre effect. Then I'm going to be using my Cairo Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. I'm only going to be adding a thin layer. I'm going in with my Maybelline lipstick in the shade Nude Lust and it's just this really pretty nude color and I'm going to just add it on top of this. Then lastly, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I hope it's focusing. I never... Okay, yeah, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie, and I just have to add a gloss. Back to the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude, and I just sharpened this so it looks way better now than before. Ugh, still tickles my eye. Then going back in with some mascara. Then just to set everything one last time, I am going to be using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray again. And a little bit more. So that is all for this makeup tutorial. Do not forget to check out my description box if you guys are interested in any of the products. And let me know what other videos you guys would want to see from me, whether it's makeup, beauty, fashion, doesn't matter. Just let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to join the harmony. And click that bell button to receive notifications from me every time I upload, okay? So I love you guys so much and God bless you all in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys in my next video.